If you spent any time at all in the vast world of black and white film developing, you've most likely heard of Cafinol. It's incredibly cheap and easy to make, but in my experience, it has resulted in some pretty undesirable and inconsistent results. Plus, it smells nasty and it tastes nasty. So let's make some real developer from scratch. <laughs> This is going to be a new series I'll be working on focusing simply on well-known and reliable black and white developers that are easy to make and are not often covered online. Today we'll be starting off strong, literally, with good old reliable Rodinol. Rodinol was first introduced by Agfa in 1891, making it one of the oldest developers ever. It is used as a general use developer and is the most common developer you'll see when people develop their film using stand development. Something that Rodinol is very well known for is its shelf life. Basically, it can outlive you. This obviously won't be an exact copy of the original Rodinol recipe, but a pretty darn close version of it. The original Rodinol recipe uses paraaminophenol, aka PAP, as its main developing agent. But this recipe, coming from Kyle from Dr. Frankenfilm, instead, of, instead uses acetaminophen, a common over-the-counter pain medicine that you can find in almost every single drugstore, pharmacy, and grocery store. Kyle's recipe calls for 250 milliliters of water, 50 grams of sodium sulfite, and 20 grams of sodium hydroxide, and 15 grams or 30 tablets, 500 milligram tablets, of acetaminophen. You will also be needing something to measure with, something to stir with that is preferably not plastic like what I ended up using, a glass bottle, and a gram scale. Before we continue, please make sure that you take the proper safety measurements to ensure that you will not get injured or die making this developer. Sodium hydroxide is nasty stuff, being incredibly corrosive in high concentrations. Do not drink, breathe, or touch this stuff, and always wear gloves, goggles, and a mask, preferably a respirator, while mixing this stuff. In general, use common sense and caution while handling this developer, both in the mixing and use of this. Before you start mixing things, make sure you crush your acetaminophen so that it will be ready to use. This will ensure that it's a lot easier to mix in. Now you're going to measure out the 50 grams of sodium sulfite and add that to the 250 milliliters of water. Be sure to stir this in until all the crystals are dissolved. Next you'll measure out 20 grams of sodium hydroxide. Add the sodium hydroxide into the mix and stir. This will create an exothermic reaction and the product will get quite warm. Once this is fully stirred in, add in the crushed up acetaminophen tablets and stir. Particulates in being in the solution are completely normal. Once that's completely mixed in, throw a top onto the mixing container or transfer the solution to a separate bottle. Be sure to wait 72 hours before using this developer. After 72 hours, it will change into that classic dark amber color you see in store-bought Rodinol. And finally, you can use it as you normally would with normal Rodinol. If you don't know what development times to use, take a look at the massive dev chart online and find the film that you are shooting. Rodinol is commonly diluted to 1 to 25 and 1 to 50 for normal developing as well as 1 to 100 and up to 1 to 200 for stand development. Be sure to make sure your developer is active. To test your developer, take a tiny drop of it and drop it onto some film. If your film turns black, then you're good to go. For my first ever test of this stuff, I shot a few frames of Rista EDU400 with my Pentax SP500 and developed this in a 1 to 50 solution for 11 minutes. As seen with normal Rodinol, what you get out of this is pretty contrasty and incredibly grainy. I then developed the role of Camry 400 shooting with my Minolta 7S and Canon A1. I then developed this for 17 minutes at 1 to 50 solution and here are some of my results. If you're wondering why you'd even want to make this at all, a lot of online stores will have shipping restrictions on Rodinol because of un how unsafe the solution of the developer is. Plus, making and using your own developer from scratch and seeing these results is incredibly rewarding. Once you're done developing and mixing, feel proud of yourself and give yourself a pat on the back for all your hard work. And that's all for this video. Another one will come out, not soon, but eventually, on Kodak D23. See ya.